Hey, welcome to Arman Mission. In this video, we'll continue experimenting with uh, transform constraints that we just received in 4.3 version. I use three transform constraints and a single I key to achieve a very interesting setup where I move the hip bone and the leg actually does a small step depending how close the hip bone is to the leg. Let's uh, build it from scratch. Uh, create I key constraint. Set the target. Okay. We have an IQ constraint. That's great. Now this target is inside this leg bone. That's why we have this uh, ability to rotate it. And normally I use this uh, setup for similar legs. Uh, I would pause it and then rotate it. Um, but today we want to enhance it. So what I need now is uh, to convert X movement of this bone to give a little bit rotation to here. Let's select the leg. Create transform constraint, select the hip bone, next connect translate x to the rotation. Now we need to set the mix value. Now it looks weird, we lost the initial rotation, but don't worry, we can change the range here and our rotation will uh, be back to normal. But this is not what I want to, because now I cannot rotate this bone, um, but I really need that. I need to animate this leg so I can move it, but I also need to rotate it. So, we will use um, additive functionality of this transform constraint. Let's revert everything and now let's connect it, set the additive and interestingly, if I set the mix value here to 100, it will not change the rotation of the bone because it's going to add to the rotation value we initially had. Um, but it does rotate actually, I don't like it, let's understand why it rotates, it should not. Um, the reason, actually, I know uh, it rotates because the bone is not at zero position. So we have uh, six pixels uh, distance from the zero position. That means that we are on the six percent here. That means that we rotated it six degree already. So if I set it to zero, you should see that now it's uh, on initial position. Let's actually um, revert it and see that there is no change. So it constrains how we want, but uh, it doesn't change the initial value. It will just add to it. See, I'm moving and it rotates. But we have an issue here. It rotates the opposite direction and it also rotates uh, too much. Let's fix that. So first of all, uh, we need to uh, lower the range of this rotation. So we need to set it to 10, from 0 to 10. So we will move a lot from 0 to 100 and it will only be transferred from 0 to 10 degrees. Yeah, this is what I want, but still it rotates to the opposite direction. We should um, switch. I'm gonna set it 10 here and 0 here. Yeah, this looks nice for me. Now I'm gonna select this bone again and create transform constraint and set the hip bone. Let's just name it something. Now I want the X value of this hip bone to transfer exactly the X value to this bone. But there will be a rule. So let's see how it basically does. Uh, again, I'm gonna set additive because I want to have control of that bone. Let's select that and change the mix value to 100%. No movement because the bone is at zero position. Now let's move it and it just does move. Perfect but I only want it to move very quickly at some point of the movement of the hip. So whenever the hip bone reaches this red marker and starts moving in that range, we should see this leg to do that step. This red starts from uh, 50 pixel and its length is another 50 pixels. So actually each block is here 50 uh, pixel square. Anyway. So whenever I move, I want it to actually start from uh, 50 pixel and um, move until um, 100. Let's actually make it 80. I want a very quick movement of that step. So from 80 to 100, only then I want this step to happen. Apart from that, I don't want it to move. But it's not gonna happen, uh, actually, because it, it moves right away. 
I don't want it. I want it to only move in when the hip is in the red range. So for that we have the clamp property. I'm gonna press it and you will see that it will be reverted to initial place. Because the bone is not in this range. Now uh, if I move it, it will not be moved. See? Only when the bone is getting into that red range. Well, not exactly this red because we used 8200. It should start somewhere here, which is basically what it does now. Now see, it does the step. It does the step. Great. It moves 100 pixel, which is uh, clearly what we have here, 50 and another 50. But what I want to do is to move up and down like a real step. Let's now set it up, transform the X value to the Y value. The same way, but I want it to move from 0 to 50 pixel. Because right now it moves 100 here and it will only move uh, another uh, 50 here up to here. So let's see if that's the true. But first we need to set the uh, Y mix as well. See? That's exactly what happening. But I want not here, obviously I want it to end here. So for that I'm gonna split this transform constraint into two. And But before I will need to set this 0 to 100 to 0 to 50. So basically it will just go to this line, along this line. In the next constraint I will do pretty much the same, but instead I will reverse the y uh, axis value from 50 to 0, so it goes down. Now let's select this bone and create the transform constraint, which will give us the downwards movement. Mm. I'm gonna set additive and clamp the same way, uh, clearly. Let's um, set X to the X and X to the Y. So on X uh, axis we will have like the value that the movement to continue from 50 to 100. For Y value we will use uh, from 50 to 0. We want it to move down. Great. Now let's set the values here and here, the mix values, and see what we have. Um, I'm not happy with this. I'm not happy. This is, yeah, we forgot the values here, uh, the source values. So as previously we had 8200, we need to uh, have another uh, uh, 20 uh, range. So it's gonna be from 100 to 120. Okay, that's I think what I was looking for. Nice. So just to explain here, it starts here, goes up until here, and then changes the direction up until here. So both of them are a 20 uh, pixel range. It only moves 40 pixel total to do that step, but the step length is actually not 40, but 100 pixel. So you can convert 40 pixel movement to whatever range you want actually which is 100 for me so it does a very big step but very quickly the difference in these ranges is creating the speed variation if you convert small range to the big one you will get much faster movement than the opposite okay so this is what I have I do want to add another layer so when it moves you can see it doesn't compensate the rotation this will be very very nicely visible when we increase the range on the step length so I'm gonna set that uh, let's make it 200 now and here it will start from 100 to 200 yeah so now it will do uh, something like this instead see the rotation of this bone is not changing when the step is happening I want that step to also compensate the rotation. So instead of this, I want to see something like this. And now uh, I'm gonna convert this uh, to the rotation as well. Let's set the rotation. And as with rotations, I don't need this huge range. I want very uh, small range, so the rotation happens very, very little. Let's set it to 15 so I can see if that actually works. Yeah, yeah, that works. I can see it, I can see it. So if I uh, remove this connection, you should see this leg uh, rotating something like this, I think. Yeah, 
see it's weird now so this way let's lower actually to five this way we can compensate that rotation to make it even nicer beautiful so i'm gonna do the same for this um, 0 to 5 because it would only apply to to the one slope great so this is basically the the whole experiment let me know what do you think thank you very much um, subscribe to not miss the next video bye